Oh man, here I am. Counter Strike. I'm going to about to go live, and I feel very raw. <sighs> Let me do this a sound check first. Okay, um, I'm just going to stick to the facts of this story. Today, some lone gunman went on a gunman went on a rampage and killed 12, 13 people in D.C. And uh, classic casual. Let's do. It. Who do I want to be? Yeah, I want to be CT. I feel like kicking terrorist ass. Anyway, um, so I looked at the notice. I saw the Financial Post, and they were pu putting um, links to, to you know, videos and so on. And I, I noticed that the um, terror, <sighs> terrorists, God, the hospital that responded took in some of the casualties. Both the ERs were ERs where I worked as a um, game designer designing a serious game for Code Orange. And I saw the doctor. I recognized her because I had seen her. I had been I had been in the incident command center. Terrorists win. So I saw her they would have activated a code orange. The game that I was key designer of at that hospital working observing in that trauma unit where they took um, some of the casualties what that game was called Code Orange, so they would have initiated that thing. There, I took a guy down. And yeah, let's take an AK just because it's a fucking good rifle. AK is a good rifle. Alright. Alright. So, anyway. I'm feeling a little weird. I, I went to see this um, thing about narrative design move it, move it. today. Move they had the um, creative director for um, Naughty Dog who was talking about this. And Jesus, you know, it's a realistic looking world, but you play a 14 year old girl and you're like. You know, your big boss is to kill a fucking psycho adult male. And y you, you um, kill him. And, you know, it's like... I, nobody talks in the moral terms anymore of like, well, you know... You become corrupted yourself when you kill... You know, in old movies, a 14-year-old girl would run in terror from such a person. It'd be like a horror story. And that would seem more appropriate. They would flee to the authorities. They would find their caretakers. But here you've got to do the killing yourself. Jesus Christ. I, I When I was at Trauma, at the um, MedStar there, I saw... I knew why they called it Trauma. I learned why. And there was one particular instance. There were guys, gangbangers, who came in. They got a one guy came in. He'd be shot in the leg and stuff like that. Whatever, you know. Those guys are fighting. But this one storekeeper who, who came in, and he had been attacked with a knife. And uh, I remember. See, I, I worked in the ho in that hospital as a game designer. I was employed, contracted as a game designer. guys. They, they don't understand the concept of suppression fire. Fuck, I'm 
not bad, eh? Not bad. Got through all this time away. Slicing pie, as you see, in the U.S. Army. First takedown in like eight years, I think, playing this game. Anyway, what really did it for me? This guy came in and they announced it was a code yellow. That's a normal trauma. And um, so I heard the code yellow. I was in the cafeteria or something. I, I ran and got there and. Um, so then the word came in, you hear, you hear, they get ready for the code, and you hear, uh, you know, okay, what's happening, right? Well, you hear the, the, um, you hear it on, on the, uh, sorry. Alright, let's go. We got a ward fight. You hear it on the radio. It's coming in. Take my grenade, buddy. You hear on the radio what's coming in. So somebody's coming in there. It's a knife wound. They've had their guts cut open in, in a robbery. A Korean store owner. The hardest thing. See, I'm just doing suppressive fire while I wait for my team to come in. Because I... <laughs> oh, fuck. So, the hardest thing was... When his wife came in and they, they escorted her through the trauma unit. And, uh, God, I remember I, I, that whole scenario. I remember standing off to the side in the, in the trauma unit and fucking, okay, Tim, bolt your feet to the ground. Like, you know, like you've got an invisible bolt gun and just stand there. And that's what that was. That was fucking trauma. So, just the idea that a 14-year-old girl, you know, we're going to like, yeah, this is your great, this is your empowerment to like go into that trauma zone where you kill somebody with your fucking bear, you know, cludging them to, the, to death. I, I don't know. It just seems, you know, it's hard enough for hardened goddamn soldiers. People who've like grown up for like their entire lives, young men, it, with this vision of themselves as protectors of all that is valuable to them, and then this throw a 14-year-old girl into that? And it's just a strange cognitive dissonance. Uh, I don't know. I'm going on. This is a weird topic, violence in games. Alright, let's take the P90, bro. And let's take an HE. Yeah, alright, let's go. I notice you don't have to buy fucking Kevlar, that's nice. It's such a basic. They always give it to you now. I gotta follow my man, he moves in, so I gotta follow him. Cause I gotta, I gotta take up his six shit. There, over there. So you don't fucking wait to see a target, you just fucking shoot, man. You just assume. There. I went down, but... Come on, man. Come out. <laughs> 